Hey guys, and welcome back to Best Practice TV. In this episode, we're talking about personal identity theft and how it relates to maybe your organization and the potential theft of your customer's information. Stay tuned. We've got an interesting gentleman that we collaborate with who's called the Points Whisperer. His name's Steve Huey, and you can see him here. He's absolutely amazing. He's brought to our attention this morning what is a really critical piece of information. Now, we all love holidays, and that's what Steve's business is all about, but Steve's given us an incredible warning, and that is absolutely don't post your boarding pass when you're boarding a plane on Instagram. Most organizations, and if you have a look at Steve's article here from where he's talking about Delta Airlines, most organizations when they're giving you your boarding pass, sorry, airline companies when they're giving you your boarding pass, put most of the information on that boarding pass. And if you go right ahead because you're excited and post a picture of that boarding pass on Instagram, you can have your personal identity theft. You can have your personal identity stolen, which is really, really interesting. Now, what I want to draw your attention to if you're an organization who's got customer's information is you can use ISO 27001 to build your data security management system. So, here's two points for you personally. Be really careful what you're doing with your personal information on social media, particularly where you've got organizations that maybe haven't done a great job of protecting your data for you. So, I think it's safe to say that we can all be a little bit naive from an individual basis, but for the organizations that you guys out there work for, this is my second point. You have to look after your customers and that's your charge and that's your responsibility because if you've got information that you put in one place, it can be misused. And in this instance, Steve takes us through in his article, we'll put the links in the comments below, have a read of that article. Steve takes you through the process of hacking into somebody's account using a boarding pass. So be careful with your boarding passes if you're flying around. If you're an airline, have a think about consolidating all that customer's information and how that can be used against your customers. Because I can guarantee you that if you've got hundreds of thousands of them, they'll feel quite violated. So I'll leave it with you. Have a look in the links below. Have a read of Steve's great article. Shout out to Steve's. Thanks for sharing it for us. Now, don't forget to have a look at our YouTube channel. We've got some great videos coming out on this content. This one's come out today. So um, it's, a, it's a word of warning or an alert for everybody out there who's a traveler um, and, and, and it's all about protecting your personal information. Jump across and have a look at our Facebook page. We've got some great articles coming out on our LinkedIn page and we'll share this, uh, we'll share this particular news article for you on our LinkedIn page. I might see you out there doing the hustle. I might not, but I'll definitely see you next time on Best Practice TV. Stay tuned.